My name is Doug Hausner. I am the Senior Associate Registrar at uh, Rochester Institute of Technology. And we are the 12th largest private university in the country. We're located in western New York in the city of Rochester. Uh, the semester project, uh, one of the things we're doing soon, RIT, is transitioning from a quarter-based system to a semester-based system. And this has far-reaching uh, impacts on our campus from the curriculum um, all the way through facilities. So there are a lot of different players all across campus that will have to redefine what they're doing, how they're doing it. The semester-based process is without a doubt a huge undertaking that's going to require a lot of negotiations between different uh, departments, different committees across campus. The transition is going to be very uh, intensive in some cases paper intensive because curriculum that needs to be redesigned will need to be submitted to New York State again uh, for another accreditation process. The other uh, significant change we're going to be having is uh, a new student information system. We had Highland come in to our campus and conduct uh, several interviews. Um, when I say several, I mean close to 50 50 to 60, actually, different interviews across our campus. The two-week time frame was uh, divided into two-hour blocks, and each meeting um, consisted of three to four Highland representatives who would ask questions about business processes and what types of resources people need to do their jobs. And it really looked holistically at everything that uh, a department may be doing, they were able to get people to talk about what they do, how they do it, what systems they rely on, and they never mentioned OnBase at all. It really had nothing to do with OnBase. It was really about their work, their business processes. One of the best parts of the study or of the process for the EIA is that you get a document at the end. Uh, close to 200 pages, ours was 178 pages, and it really showed us um, where we could make some huge improvements on our processing, um, as well as a roadmap, basically, of how we might go enterprise. Currently, we're departmentally um, deployed on our campus, and we're looking to change that and actually become a site license for OnBase.